Hello, my name is John Terrell. I'm an application engineer with QTE Manufacturing Solutions, the master cam reseller. Today we're going to show you how to create your tabs, uh, MO1 stops or glue stops uh, in master cam wire. And we'll also show you how to transform the tool paths and create the other two for the openings that we have left. Uh, already I have my solid model die in with three openings and I also brought in my generic wire EDM machine. So we can go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to contour and we need to set up our chain. So we'll go ahead and pick our thread point and pick our profile. After our dialog box comes up, today we're going to use generic settings for our cutting conditions. We'll go to cut parameters and uh, let's go ahead and set up our tabs. I'm going to set up a 200 thousandths tab. Make sure this make tab cut off move with skim cut is on because it has to be checked. It's very critical. We'll set up two, let's set up two skims today. Our cutter comp, let's go to uh, computer left and stops. We want to come in. And these will automatically be checked. But let's go ahead. We do as an uh, output stop code. We want as a glue stop, which is an M01, and we want it before and after the slug or the tab. We'll go to our leads. We want to set up a line and arc, an arc and line, and I'm going to set up point code 40 and point code 20. And we want to uncheck this and uncheck this. By doing this, this will activate our tab and finish leads for our, uh, finish, our finish cuts. So we'll set up a line and arc, arc and line, and I'm going to set it up with the same settings. Carry it over. In our taper, I know we're not tapering, but I'm still setting up for our um, back plot. I'll set this at minus 1.0. This at minus 1.5 for the lower head. I'll use this for my zero, which is our origin on our part. And I'll set this at 0.2 and 0.2. And I think now we should be able to get out of there and we have our profile. So let's do a top view and take a look at that toolpath. Looks very good. We'll go ahead and back plot it. And I'm just going to step it through and show you where your MO1 stops are. There's one of them, the 200 thousandths before the cutoff, where you can put the magnet on it or be at the machine. There's where you would actually cut the slug off and take the slug out. And we'll go ahead and let it go. And at that point, it's going to do our last two skims. Perfect. Now, what I want to show you now is how to create these other two profiles without having to do what we just did, picking the geometry and everything. And the way we do that in Master Cam Wires, we come up to a path transform. And we want to set NCI on a source. Make sure this is checked. Go to Translate. We're going to do it today. The method is between two points, and I do need two more instances because I have two more openings. Over here, I want to go from this point, and I want to set it up to go to, I need two instances at, I'm going to set that at 3.0 and 2.0, and green check out. And as you can see, we are done with those profiles. So now I'm going to come in and we'll go ahead and back plot and run all of them. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and kick us out some code here. I can show you exactly where those MO stops or op stops, whatever you want to call them. Go right here and here. There and there. Then you got your skims. There it is on the second profile. 
in skims, and there it is on the third profile, and you have skims. So with that being said, I hope this helps you. Uh, this is a great way to set this up in Mastercam Wire. Uh, please refer to our website, qtemfg.com, or call support if you have any questions whatsoever. Have a good day.